renting this in the light from the furnace door of the steam launch. My man Arthur is firing up. He is an experienced hand in the works and has had a launch of his own to the Thames and the Norfolk Broads. Regarding our plans, Mina's guest was correct. And if any waterway was chosen for the Count's escape back to his castle, the Surrette, or the Bitsritz at its junction, will be the one. We took it at somewhere about the 47th degree north latitude. It would be the place chosen for crossing the country between the river and the Carpathians. Hopefully, Dr. Van Helsing and Mina will arrive second to us. But with the storm, we have been delayed. Lord Galdami tells me to sleep for a while, but I cannot sleep. For a while, I cannot sleep. It is not often that you get to chase a monster halfway across the world. It was a wild adventure we were on here as we traveled deeper into a world of darkness. None of us could have come in on the storm. But unfortunately, we've lost communication with Madame Mina and Dr. Van Helsing. I pray to God that they are all right. It has been five hours since I've last written. With the dawn, we saw the body of the Sengazi before us dashing away from the river with her leecher box containing Dracula's box. I have made progress. My horse has pulled ahead. Lucy's sake, I am thankful. They surrounded it in a cluster and hurried along as though beset. It appears I shall arrive before the others. The howling of wolves can be heard. They often come down from the mountain when the snow falls. They are a danger to all of us and from all sides. Well, the horses are ready, and we are off. We ride to the death of someone. God only knows who, when, or how it may be. <laughs> <laughs>